What's up guys, Damner122 and it's List Day. Ah yes, List Day. And uh, today we're going to do the worst cards in Ignition Assault. Ignition Assault is the brand new main set of the game and I like to go over the worst cards because every time we get a main set, all the other Yugi Tuber peoples do all the best cards and stuff. And who cares about that? Let's talk about garbage. Because you're like... Oh shit. I'm wearing a green shirt. Ooh, up my head! Let's do Twink Link. It's gonna be one of those videos, eh? It's already fucking starting. Well, alright. Fuck, let's look at the shittiest cards in this set. Ignition Assault is actually turning out to be a pretty solid set. Um, and uh, a lot of the, like, just no archetype, like, off-brand filler cards, a lot of commons in this set, actually have some really neat effects, but they're all, like, they'd be good in GOAT format, I guess, because they're super old school and just not good anymore. But they're kind of cool, which makes me believe that this set would actually be a pretty solid draft set. Like, I, I think this would have been a fun to do on Sneak Peek. But yeah, let's look at some, let's look at some crappy ones. Number five is Mutually Afferred Destruction. No, I did not misspeak. It's Afferred Destruction, not Assured Destruction. I think it's because you look at each other's hands, like you're afferring their hands, I guess. Am I using afferred right? Is that the de is that what that means? This is a normal trap card that reads, both players reveal their hands for the rest of the turn, and if you or your opponent have like the same card in each other's hand, like uh, let's say you both have an Ash Blossom, you can't activate or activate the effects of the, the, those uh, cards that you mutually have for the, for the rest of the turn. Now, I put this at five because in theory, it's actually a fun little stall card, because it's like, oh, I got an ash, you got an ash, we both have a call by the grave, sucks to be you. However, like, ideally, the best time to play this would be on your turn, so that, you know, you can stop your opponent from hand trapping you or whatever by blocking him with your own hand traps. Except this thing is a trap card, meaning it only comes in handy by turn three in that case. That sucks. So, okay, Fine, we can't use it to guard our own plays. We can we can do it to our opponent on their turn. Go them going second, right? Uh, okay, uh, well in that case, uh, the hand trap thing doesn't help, which means we have to go to the second function of the card, and actually what its original OCG name was, mirror match. So in a mirror match, you can then stop your opponent from using like, you know, their spiral super agents or whatever in a, God, that is so bad. And that also means on your turn, by the extension, in an actual mirror match, the card becomes unplayable because it turns off like every card in your hand, not your op well, and in your opponent's. But like they can't summon a, a, a quick fix or whatever on their uh, on your turn. So all this does is hurt you. One sec. Ugh, this card sucks. All right, this next one I feel kind of bad because he's kind of super cute. But uh, Squeak Knight, one word. Squeak night, squeak, squeak, squeak night, squeak. <laughs> I'm not even drunk yet. That's just actually legitimately funny to me. Squeak night. I'm actually that one wasn't even intentional. Squeak night is a level one fire fire warrior union effect monster. <laughs> oh god, with the following effect: if this card is special summoned, oh that's not a good sign. You can activate this effect. Treat this card as a tuner this turn. <sighs> Okay. Also, you can only special summon once from your extra deck. <laughs> what? For the rest of the turn. Oh, that is so bad. The card, not the beer. The beer is actually pretty good. Dogfish head. Okay. Um, okay, well, that's a pretty lousy effect. What else does it do? It has a wall of text. Once per turn, you can either, you, you can either like, target a monster you control and then equip this thing to it as a union monster or unequip this thing and special summon it. Thus, in theory, proccing its first effect. Oh, that is so bad. And then it bestows a, a, a one-time card or a battle destruction to the monsters equipped to. You kill this thing instead. Who cares? The obvious function is to equip it to a dude, and then presumably next turn, ugh, unequip it from a dude, and then, like, tear it into a tuner and make one synchro summon and pass. That is, that is terrible. Cause that's exactly what synchro decks do. They make one synchro summon and pass. Play this in your Quasar build. You only need the one. Squeak Knight. <laughs> Number three is Battle Survivor. They really pulled out all the stops when they named this card. Might as well have called it Grave Floater. What does it do? It's level four Earth Warrior monster. Okay, well, that could certainly be worse. With 1600 attack. Again, 
Could be worse. At the end of the battle phase, oh no. You can add one card from your graveyard to your hand that was sent to the battle phase this battle phase while this card was face up. You can only use this once per turn. Oh, that's so, so bad. Okay, you normal summon this thing, you set a mirror force, you pass your opponent who's, you know, an idiot, uh, Alexandrite Dragon, and goes to punch into this thing. <laughs> Surprise, Mirror Force. Oh, look, I can get my Mirror Force back. <laughs> Pluses for days. The obvious best use of this card would be to, like, just, like, build your board, have it sitting over on the side somewhere, go into your battle phase, you know, do some shenanigans, and if something goes bad, it helps, you know, mitigate the damage. Wow, this is really terrible. If this was, like, I don't know, 2000 fucking 5, and it was GOAT format, then sure, why not? This would actually be okay, because it would help you, you know, get your Book of Moon back, or some stupid garbage. It's incredibly disrespectful. Again, why I said this set would probably be a really fun draft league is because of cards like this. In real Yu-Gi-Oh, this is bad. In, like, a fake stupid format, like a draft format, it could be fun. <sighs> Maybe. Friedran, the Wing of Mischief. Mm, yay. Fun artwork. Sure. Level 3 Wind Dragon. Could be worse. 1700 attack. <laughs> Surprisingly respectable. What do? If this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one face of monster you control. Uh, and if it is to attack a defense position monster this turn, that monster can inflict piercing damage to your opponent. Seriously. Is this GOAT format? This is a GOAT format card. This would be something that you would play in a GOAT format. Once per turn, quick effect. <laughs> it, oh, well here we go. You can target one other face-up monster in the field, change its battle position, and then return this card to the hand. Oh my god, it's such a GOAT card, it's not even funny. It's like Xerion Universe and Asuki Omi. <sighs> you know they do this on purpose, right guys? Like, they're like, oh crap, we gotta get the set to 100 cards, better. Print something that there's literally no way the player base is going to break because this is absolutely stupid and bad. So, uh, yeah, let's just print some goat cards that they can't use. That'll be cool. At least the artwork's really kind of super cute. It's like a butterfly dragon. That's, that's fun. Alright, here we go. Uh, uh, dishonorable mentions. The entire megalith archetype. Just the, the whole freaking thing. And... No, it's it's not personal or nothing. I I just read the cards. Oh my god, this is so fucking terrible. Why do I have to keep using this thing? The one advantage of this fucking deck is you don't need a ritual spell, and I've had both ritual summons I've made this fucking game. Mm, yes. I've utilized a ritual spell. <laughs> no, why would you even suggest that? Oh, it's so ah, you don't do anything. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. If you guys want to help support the channel, check out my links down in the description below. I've got links to the Discord, Facebook, and Patreon if you want to get in touch with me, help with the lists, things like that. Or if you want to save some money, you can head over to Metamat's website, use my code TROLLMETA at checkout. You can save 10% off a custom cloth playmat like one of these bad boys. Or if you want to waste your money on expensive cardboard, use my TCG player link in the description below and put off your financial obligations. I hope you guys enjoyed the new sponsor plug thing I pre-recorded. You'll be seeing it a lot because it saves me time. <laughs> Big oof. Number one though, Link Party! Woo! Link Party! The artwork is absolutely fantastic. It's got like all those retrained Link 2 guys like uh, uh, Mrs. Radian and Miss Starboy and uh, Doolittle Chimera. They're all on here. They're all on here. And they're all sitting at the table having a party. The artwork is like top tier. It's like top tier. It's almost as cool as that new one that just got released with the Sangan with the tri trinocular trinoculars. That is a that is a Discord emote if I've ever seen one. But I digress. This card is really, really, really bad. Oh, I, why did they spend so much time on the artwork though? Like that's a lot of effort for a shitty fucking card. This normal spell card changes its effect depending on the number of 
original attributes of, of Link monsters that are on the board. So like if your opponent's got all fire Link monsters, they're, they're playing uh, Salamangrates, and I'm playing Marincess, so it's fire, water, one, two, this thing does its two effect. Now if that sounds like a situational, terrible spell card, then that would, yeah, it's absolutely correct. You may say if all six effects, because it's, it's six, right? Because it's light, dark, earth, wind, fire, water, divine? I mean, I guess that one counts. It should have a seven. It should have a seven just for the lulls. But okay, sure, whatever. What do they do? If there's only one attribute represented on the board, all your link monsters gain 500 attack. Oh good, it's permanent. Okay, so you can't play in a mono element deck. Rip Marincess, fine, whatever. Maybe your extra deck is, is more varied. Like you're running decodes or something. What do? Well, uh, with two, all link monsters your opponent controls lose a thousand attack. Okay, that's better. Three, gain 1500 life points. Why? Why isn't that number one? That's the worst. Four, inflict 2000 damage to your opponent. Five, special summon one monster with 2500 or more attack from your deck. <laughs> okay, finally, that's actually good. That is actually a good effect, and it only took you to have five freaking different elements on board. Ugh. It's not impossible if you're both playing a Link deck and it's a different Link deck than each other. You can't rely on it though because it's completely random whether or not the situation is currently set up and it would be very hard for you to set it up yourself going first. Ha! <laughs> but that's six though. That six has got to be a bomb ass effect, right? Destroy all monsters your opponent controls with 3,000 or less attack. If you've done the impossible, it's just Regeki. And, and Regeki's technically better. Like, it destroys everything. Not, there's no limit on the attack. We have like, what, we have like three dark hold, don't we? Like, I think what's the worst part about this is they don't stack. It's like, you don't get like the four, three, two, and one if you got four. No, you don't, you don't get all of them. You just get, just get whatever's on the board at the time. Imagine if like you built a strategy around this. Like we're gonna end this video. Dave's gonna make this card work. Uh, I, you're playing like decodes or whatever. We have a, a bunch of different attributes represented. You're able to make the five. You are able to make the five reliably. Like you have, you open this one two card combo and with your link deck built, like or your extra deck built specifically to do this wombo combo ends you with five attributes which is five monsters that's that's like a u link <laughs> oh, you can then special summon one of those big stupid floodgate monsters like mechanical hound or something from or the that chicken uh apex avian if you can i don't even remember if you can do that from the deck but yeah that's the play. You make a very specific link board and then pull a floodgatey two tribute beater out of your deck. That is so bad. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway guys, that was the list. Uh, that was the top five worst cards in Ignition Assault. Um, at least, at least they are that special kind of crappy where they're at least fun crappy and not boring crappy. Like, all monsters gain 300 attack power. Who freaking cares? No. They were at least interesting to talk about, even though they were all really crappy. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, and uh, why don't you guys also give me uh, what you think are some of the worst cards for the set, because there is a lot more than five, let's be real. And also, remember guys, if you don't troll the meta who will, I'll see you guys next time. Well, looks like they made it through the video. But you'd still be a slacker if you didn't subscribe up there. Maybe you should check out one of these other videos. Maybe then you'd actually be a decent opponent for me.